How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Sticker Star. Last time, we completed the regular path of Stage 3 of World 1, Water's Edge Way. And now, we have the ability to take on the fourth stage of World 1, Hither, Thither Hill. But before we actually do go into Stage 4, there are a couple of things you will want to know. So, in case you didn't grab the fan thing in Stage 2, Bokeh Garden, which I don't know how you couldn't have, because that's the only way you make it through the level. Anyway, once you grab the fan, head back, head back to Decalburg, uh, go to the left from the town, and swing your fan thing on the sticker station board and then you'll have a fan sticker which you can see right now in your album so once you have that fan sticker head back to stage four and then you should be good to go to enter maybe you'll want to stop by the shop in decalburg to buy some extra stickers but my album's actually pretty full so no need for extra stickers we're just gonna hop right in to stage four Without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we are in Hither Thither Hill. And look at the battle background, the, like, windmill there, it's so neat looking. Okay, um... I think we're just gonna go for a Koopa Shell, cause that's, like, the easiest thing for us to do. And we got the excellent, take out every single enemy, earning ourselves the perfect bonus. Oh, I love those delicious coins. Those coins are so good. Why didn't you drop me a replacement Koopa shell? Come on, uh, Koopa Troopa. You should be courteous and do that for me. Well, at least the question mark block did. Also, you can interact with, like, trees. Ooh, that one gave me a good amount of coins. Uh, you can interact with trees along with bushes in this game. And I have no room in my album because I literally picked up a Koopa shell after using one. Uh, but anyway... Uh, so there are a couple of things that you can do. Uh, there are warp pipes all around here. And there's this windmill up here I want to try. Actually, first let's fix the landscape. Oh, we actually did that without needing to go down there. Alright, let's check this out. What is this? This blade is completely blocking the door. Talk about awful cottage design. Gee, guys, did we forget anything? Oh, wait. The front door access! Yeah, Kirsty, I, I do agree. Windmill, on days of strong wind, beware the blades. Yeah, anybody who stands in between the blades on strong wind days that wants to have their face chopped off, they can be my guest, but I personally wouldn't want that. We can head over here to the right, actually. We can do a couple of things as far as this goes. Koopa, don't hurt me. But I'll hurt you. You can't hurt me, but I will hurt you. And you're just a single Koopa. Okay. Uh, we can just use a jump for this one, I guess. One, two, three, four, and five. Extra coins are always welcome, as well as the extra coins that we get for the perfect bonus after taking out the enemy in one shot. Will you drop coins like your other tree friend? Yes, you do. Oh, those coins are so good. All right, a jump sticker to replace the one we just used. A heart back here. I will take that. Anything? A coin is back here. That's nice. There's a crying green toad over there. Looks like we need to find a way to get to that green toad. And we can't really use the windmill right now. So how about we head down the warp pipe? Oh, look at this. All the beetles as well. A pow that we can't use. Looks like we're going to need to find a piece of a warp pipe in order to use that one. So let's keep that one in mind. I wanted to try avoiding the buzzy beetles, but hey, I guess we'll just... Actually, all we have to do is do that, and the buzzy beetle goes away. And we get the perfect bonus. That's what I like about the shell-based enemies. Uh, if you time it correctly and you jump on them... Actually, I think it only works when you jump on them. Uh, there's the comet piece, by the way. I wish we could just stickerize this wall and take it apart. But over here, your reward for exploring this way is a shiny line jump sticker, which is pretty awesome. 
Uh, so let's make our way over here. We don't really need this heart refill. I don't know why I went here, but you know, it is what it is. All right, let's avoid. Uh, you're gonna turn a. Wow, you actually go pretty far there. Uh, let's time this carefully. There we go. Let's not get into as many battles as possible. Because uh, I'm going to try to record a lot of episodes in this session. So uh, that would be nice if we don't spend 20 minutes per uh, level. Alright, into this other warp pipe. Let's try avoiding everybody as much as possible. That was bound to happen. Alright, we can just use this here. No point in wasting another sticker. Let's just do that. There we go. Everybody taken care of. Perfect bonus. Because that's oh so grand. Alright. Avoid the beetles. Uh, let's see. A jump sticker. Okay. I wish it was another type of sticker, but we're not gonna we're not going to get into the other stickers, like the other special stickers until much later on. Heart refill. A new hammer sticker that we don't have room in the album for. Uh, let's toss this jump sticker. It is the burn hammer. We'll get into the burn hammer a little bit later, but crying uh, green toad, what's the matter, friend? Mario, you heard me crying and came to help. I, uh, uh, I guess I was bawling pretty loudly. See, I was walking around lost in thought when I found myself actually lost. All alone. Is this a future reference to Fire Emblem? It, it's not. And surrounded by enemies. No way could I avoid all those things and get back all by myself, so I decided to express my general loneliness by sobbing a lot. Anyway, please take me back to town. I'll follow behind you. I won't get in the way or anything. And the Green Toad has joined us. All right. Oh, wow. I, I actually have never experienced this before. Mario, wait! If I jump down from here, I'll hurt my feet, and then I'll cry! Look, I'd better just wait here for you. Come back and get me. Don't forget! Oh, wow. the That's actually pretty funny dialogue. I'm surprised I've never experienced that before. Maybe I have when I first played the game, and I just forgot about it, but oh my god, that's actually really hilarious. <laughs> that's a hilarious piece of dialogue. I wonder what other things you could do. Oh, I think... I think I know about this one, but I think if, um, I think if you walk past an enemy and let the green toad touch one of the, uh, spinies, uh, the shell beetle or whatever this enemy's name, official name is, I think toad leaves your party there as well. I'll test that out when we get back over there, but first we need to make our way through here. And something I didn't point out is you actually get a shot of the scrap for the warp pipe in the other part of the underground. Hello, Toad, I am back. No, have no fear, I am here. Oh, thank goodness, you haven't abandoned me yet. Look, I'm sorry for being such a baby, but my legs just aren't as strong as yours, Mario. We don't all do like a thousand jump squats a day. So, okay, I'm going to follow you again. Please take me back to town. All right, Green Toad has joined us again. I wanna see if he says anything different. Like, I really wanna check to see if he says anything different if I jumped over the, uh, fence again, but I think we're just gonna go with it. Alright, let's see. Like, if I... Oh, uh, I'll test it out with the next one. I was gonna see if, um... What, what is it? Uh, if Toad touches the enemy, if he does leave the party, like a scaredy cat. I wanna see if that rings true. Hang on. I just need to time my jump carefully here. Alright, come on. Time the jump. Yes, he will! Eek! It's all over me! I can't take it! And, yes, Toad has left us. All right, let's go back and get him. I wonder what dialogue he'll say when I go and approach him this time. I'm sorry I'm, like, extending the episode longer than it should be, but I just find this dialogue hilarious. Oh, thank goodness you haven't left me to fend for myself. Listen, I don't mean to be such a wuss, but I'm not a fighter like you, Mario. We don't all stomp, like, a hundred Goombas before breakfast. If you could just beat up any scary bad guy for me, that'd really help me out. Okay, I'm going to follow you again. Please take me back to town. All right, Toad. I'll take you back to town. And this time, I'll try not letting any of the beetles get to you. All right, we're going to have to actually fight them all, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to fight them all. 
All right, it would have been a nice touch if the Toad was by your side here in the battle sequences, but, you know, it's fine. All right, and hit you. All right, there we go. We didn't get the excellent, but we did get the perfect bonus, which I will take any day of the week. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to fight you. I like Toad's face. I just saw that. Toad expresses himself when you do that. All right. Looks like we're gonna be using up all our shell stickers here, uh, which is a little unfortunate, but hey, perfect bonus. We, we still get the perfect bonus. It's enough. So, all right, one more guy. Get over here, buddy. Hit you with your, hit your shell. Oh, you're only a single guy. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't think a jump would do anything, though. I'm gonna have to use a shell. I don't, I don't think a jump would work. I don't know if a hammer would work. So I'm just gonna use a shell for one enemy, because why not? All right, there we go. Get you, get some hearts back, head up the warp pipe. And now let's head back to town. Finally, we're back above ground. And all thanks to you, Mario. You make a great bodyguard. Now keep it up and get me all the way back to town. Just a little ways to go. You got it, Green Toad. Let's head back to the town. Decalburg. Let's go. Oh, look, Toad even appears in the overworld. It's so adorable. Okay. Let's head back to Decalburg. And let's get you home there, Green Toad. Hope you give me something good for my troubles. You did it. You got me back to town. Oh, thank you so much. I'm almost crying with joy. I've got a little something to thank you with. So come by my house. It's the middle house in the group of three up ahead. I'll wait for you there. All right. Looks like we are going to get rewarded for our troubles. Let's head over here. Y why are you still trying to hide? Like, what's the deal, buddy? Notice all the Goombas near town? Word is, they somehow made it over to the mountains to the big Goomba from the big Goomba fortress. Ever since, I think this is the same thing you said before. So I'm just gonna ignore you, and I'm gonna go in the middle house here, amongst the town. Hello, Toad. Mario, I've been waiting for you. As far as thank you presents go, this is nothing special, but please take it. A mushroom sticker. I wouldn't say that's necessarily bad, because it does cost 15 coins to buy from the shop. Hey, but speaking of which, when I was all lost in thought and then got lost, the Goombas in front of that windmill kept repeating, 4123, 4123. Isn't that weird? I mean, what language is that? Whoa, I almost did it again. I've got to stop getting lost in thought before I really get lost again. 4123, huh? Hmm, I wonder that's going to be about... Anyways, before we actually head over to, uh, back to stage four, I want to go check here really quickly. Is there another leaf sticker, please, possibly? No? No? Man, I guess that leaf sticker was like a one-time thing. That sucks. Oh, well. Let's head back to stage four and let us get these things over with. All right, here we go. Hither, thither, uh, hither, thither hill, I almost, <laughs> I stopped myself from saying the stage name thinking I got it wrong, but then I remembered it after I stopped that it is the correct stage name. Hither, thither hill, we are back. We're ready for round two, even though nothing really changed, I guess. Also, um, I don't know if, uh, would a hammer do the trick also with hitting a Koopa shell? I don't know. I think the jump just is... Ooh, that was the biggest perfect bonus we've gotten yet. I will take that. Okay. Uh, I'll take this coin, by the way. Wow, I was clipping through that, uh... I was clipping through that. Welcome back to clipping! I love clipping. Episodes of clipping are the best ever in a series. Alright, so... You might be wondering why this tree stump is over near the windmill. Well, remember that fan thing that you stickerized? Well... Huh? Weird. Never seen a paperization zone like this for sticking stickers. I guess it could be meant for a rare sticker type that I'm not familiar with. I guess that piece of dialogue is a hint for 
new players to bring something pretty big here, but the thing you need to stickerize is the fan thing, once it's in sticker form. And look, the windmill is now normal, so let's actually access the windmill. Oh, okay, so uh, the Goomba, the Green Toad's hint of 4123 that the Goombas were saying uh, in front of the windmill is actually the code to this. So you're going to want to hit the block to the corresponding number of times, so 4, 1, 2, and 3. It's the same code, it never changes, so just keep that in mind. And now let's head to the secret war pipe that was here thanks to our... Are you serious? I, I have to do that all over again now? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's pretend that that never happened, and let's go grab the green warp pipe scrap item. Alright. Now we head down here. Let's avoid the beetles. Thank you. Okay, for a second I thought I was going to have to fight that last one, but no, we prevailed. We persisted. All right, here we go. Let's avoid the Goomba. I wanted to avoid the Goomba. Somehow I jumped over the freaking warp pipe. All right, I'm using the shell. I don't even care. One, and excellent. Let's just get through here as quickly as possible, get our perfect bonus, and let's head down that warp pipe because that's where we need to go. All right, collect these coins. All right, down we go. Enter the warp pipe. New area. Well, same area, but now we can stickerize the warp, uh, paperize the, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna mix it up every single time I do it. Paperize, stickerize, let's just put the green warp pipe thing scrap down where it belongs and enter the completed warp pipe. Alright, here we go. It's time for a giant battle. Ooh, we got all three. That is lovely. I will take it. I will take it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna use a POW sticker. Then we're gonna use... Uh, I think it should be fine if I just do this against the giant, uh, the big buzzy beetle, rather. All right, pow block. That's gonna flip him over. And now, as long as we don't screw this up, we should be good. Hop slipper for all 10 hits. Get it down to 20 health points. And one, two, three, four, five. All right, got nine HP left. Block. All right. I think we have another POW block, so that's gonna be the way this goes. We do have another POW block, okay. Unfortunately, I should have used a second hop slipper. I don't know why I didn't. Oh well. Mistakes were made, but hey, I guess we've learned from them a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, should I just use another hop slipper? Yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry. One, two, there we go. Flip you over, and one, two, three, four, five, and now this is just extra coins. There we go, 40 HP mid-boss here in the first world, and your prize for defeating the big buzzy beetle is an HP up heart. So at this point, if you collected the first HP up heart in Bokeh Gardens, now Mario should have 30 hit points for his maximum health. All right, let's head through the red warp pipe all the way up. Remember this area? Well, here it is above ground, yay! And we are, oh, why did I destroy that? Can I reset this? <laughs> I, I didn't actually want to, I wasn't paying attention. 
Hopefully that can be reset. Please, brick block, <laughs> brick blocks, please be reset. No. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I want to see what this- Koopa, get over here. I can't do that now. Oh, I want to see what that is. I think that's actually a really good item, too. Oh, that sucks. I can't reset that now. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to take out my frustrations using a Koopa shell on these guys. Man, I wanted to see what was in that. Oh, I think it's a really good- You know what? We're gonna come back in after I'm done with this level and see what that is. Just for that one- Ooh, a leaf sticker! Just for this one question mark block. And another one of these outlines to keep in mind. Just- just keep it in mind, trust me. Alright, well, reluctantly, we're gonna grab the comet piece and finish off the stage proper, and then we're coming back in for that question mark block. How many coins are we gonna get? Looks like a good amount. I will take those. Come on, let's get them all. I was able to grab that last 10 coin. Yes. Awesome. All right, that is stage four down. And now we have access to the final level of World 1, Goomba Fortress. So, before we end off this episode, let's hop back into Hither Thither Hill and see what that question mark block is all about. Finally, the mystery is about to be solved. What was in this question mark block? Oh my goodness, I was right. Flashy jump sticker. That is a really good sticker. And, uh... Definitely don't screw up like I did and grab that in your first run-through of this stage. And by first, I mean second, technically, because you did have to escape with the green toad. Nonetheless, we did it. We completed this. That's I only came back in here just for that. I avoided every enemy I could and just came in for that single sticker. And I've played so much of this game that the game tells me to take a rest before feeling tired. Anyway, next time on Paper Mario Sticker Star, we will be taking on the fifth level of World 1... Whamino Mountain. So with that, I'm gonna actually go sell the leaf sticker I have in my album to the shop in Decalburg. Maybe buy some more stickers there. I don't know. We'll see. And then, next time, we'll take on Whamino Mountain. So with that, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.